I'm Storm Chaser Jackson Franson, and this is SIS. SIS is a vehicle I've been modifying ever since I started my storm chasing career back in 2023. On it is a byproduct of every mistake I've ever made out in the field, and I'm still learning and adding. This vehicle is the heart of my entire chasing career, and I would like to give you guys a tour of how I, how I run it. We have a CB radio added on so I can communicate with other chasers in my area or anybody I'm convoying with. We also have a cell booster so I can actually get cell data anywhere. I also have a weather radio with an extra antenna on top of the vehicle, which is the coily antenna on top in the center. We have a roof mounted camera so I can view what's going on behind me for an increased situational awareness. We have a light bar on here, which is really helpful for when I'm core punching into 75 dBZ hail and I need people to see where I am because the hail fog is real. We also have the big thing, which I'm sure you guys have all been seeing, the mezzanine. This is a little piece of equipment that I decided to put on as more of an idea of what's going on in the environment. It's not really for scientific use, but I can compile some pretty insane graphs with it, so that's pretty cool. Underneath the hood, I have an engine that I built myself in my own bedroom. The engine took me four months to complete and swap into the vehicle, and it runs decent. Uh, it is definitely, you can tell a 16 year old built the engine. Uh, the vehicle is also straight pipe, so you can hear me from 25 miles away. You'll be like, oh shit, it's Jackson WX. Also inside the vehicle, we have a laptop. The laptop is what I use as like the core of the vehicle. Everything I do is mainly based around this laptop, but it can be substituted for any other piece of equipment or even pen and paper. I don't need the laptop, but it is extremely helpful to have. Pretty soon here, I'm gonna be building my own tornado probes, which will hopefully give me some good video of the inside of a tornado, and maybe even pressure data. Stay tuned for that, because I'll be uploading videos on the progress of my tornado probes. Probably gonna be done by January, uh, so expect a video sometime eventually. On the front, I also have LED high beam headlights with two fog light pods on the sides. The LED high beam headlights are extremely useful at night when deer decide to run in front of me because then they know where I am and they could sit there better. And with the LED fog lights, those are extremely helpful when I'm actually in a rainstorm at night. They actually light up the road so much better. That's right, your boy discovered light. I think this concludes SIS and I am extremely proud of the vehicle I've made here.